I don't know. I love the art in this game. Like, it's... I don't know. It reminds me of Sims for some reason. <laughs> like, it's like a... You know, roguelike Sims game. I don't know. It's really cool. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. There's goblins living underground. And it's this town. We know you know. Fetch up. We're going to sound crazy. We have to try, right? Up there, they're still in. Uh, hello, ma'am? Ned, how can I help you? We want to talk to the mayor? Yes, sir. Wait, really? Mayor Wallen has an open door policy. Everyone who wishes to make an appointment can. If it's very much ahead of concerns of his sins. Wait, really? I just told you, yes. You can go. We can go right back. Wicked. Man, she really seemed surprised by that. Sure. Do, do you... Do you have any idea the man was such a chill guy? I did not. I had no idea. Teenagers! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an appointment. Who let you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's already been here like that. Teenagers. You don't have an appointment. Who let you in here? Get out. I want. That bitch will run uh, out front and set us up. You motherfucker. Okay, y'all. Uh, male guy, you need to hear this out. Male Call the police. Well then, your demands? Demands? We're not terrorists. This is coming out wrong. We just want to talk. You're the hoodlums from the bus. Goblins! We need to talk to you about goblins. Shit, that makes it sound crazy. We really didn't think this through. Goblins, you say? You must be the professor's kids. Millie, please cancel the call to the police. <laughs> Never called a boss. Never. <laughs> you are a treasure. <laughs> This is really fun. So, how can I help you? Wait, you you believe us? Well, I mean, that guy said that they made a deal with the mayor, so he clearly knows about him. Yeah. You actually know the professor? Yes, he teaches at the local university. I even attended his anthropology class once. Well, but he was still teaching. He hasn't really been doing much since he, he got tenure. However, while everyone else has labeled him a bit of an odd duck, I assume you're here about the asylum program. How can I help you, kid? We're not kids. My apologies. Why don't you find citizens? Start from the top. Millie, could you bring in some coffee? <laughs> it's pretty funny. You gave him the perfect voice for his attitude. I appreciate you. <laughs> Then we left Bob when basically dying and came here. Talk about goblins in town. Honestly, we don't know what to do. Fascinating. Just, just fascinating. So, what do we do? Well, um, I'm gonna smoke me a cigar, and, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I really have no idea. <laughs> Great. Tell us what no idea you have. You said the professor was holding the, uh, Deep Citadel, right? We don't really know yet, but... But you, you think that's where he is? From what the professor has told me, the deeper you go, the more power the gate requires. Baldwin didn't mention anything about that. The professor has the moon gate hooked up to the electrical grid. It was, uh, it was, it was quite a uh, howdy-do. But I manage everything in this town, because I'm the mayor. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that means... I have the key to do so. Yeah. Our oh. grid can <laughs> barely handle anything. It taxes the system heavily. The city simply couldn't support the gate going that to There's a but, right? But. <laughs> Golly. There are powerful artifacts from the goblin world below our feet called runestones. Some of them 
called runes of power are very, uh, well, powerful. If you bring me those runes, I'll be able to provide you with all the power you need. And perhaps some other help. I guess that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. if we not... find any runes of power, you'll be the first person we talk to. What about Baldwin? He's uh, not doing great, and our goblin-related medical knowledge is low. Hmm, well... I do have this. It unlocks a secret tunnel in the old well. It leads to the ancient goblin market. One of the professors, uh, first discovered, if you call it. It's well a well key. key. It's the well key. It opens a well. It's a well key. Opens a well. A Get key. all the water you need. <laughs> we need so much water. The key to an old well. You might be able to find some water down to help with this. Baldwin's condition. I was really thirsty. Human medicine can do little. Because she's a goblin, after all. Yeah. Guess it's better than nothing. Let's go, Tristan. So we're going to toss Baldwin down the well. Yep, let's do it. Toss him down the well. I think, uh... Maybe I walled in. My door is always open. Come by, anytime. But not first. <laughs> I might be busy. Hey, except, unless he doesn't know you, he's not open. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he obviously called the cop. That's so funny. You're a bitch. I, I hope, hope you have one visit with the mayor. <laughs> I think she's kind of fun. And she doesn't look like she'd have that voice at all. <laughs> yeah, the one that's like, <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Closes his hands in the... His hands. His hands. Closes his hands. Oh, that was not far at all. Get off. Are you gonna get off it or what? Oh, it's that for Oh wow, that's super cool. It's just like right there. Yeah, come down. That's so cool. I don't see what we're. Um, oh, this is what we're unlocking. It's like you know, an actual city just has a well there. You know, yeah. it works. Yeah, it's the key to the well. We put the key in the hole and twisted it, and the oh. hole it just opened the door. I never even knew locks worked like that. I thought they'd lock things forever. I never knew how a key worked until, until I played this game. <laughs> Same. I never even knew you could lock stuff. Yes, is mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. This is empty. No, <laughs> so, I thought this place. Goblin Street. That's a terrible name. You drive the moped. I name places. I'm never calling it that. I'm going to call it, uh... Goblin Street. It's gonna stick. Trust me. Nah. I mean, think about it. It's like Bourbon Street. Goblin Street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Bourbon Street. I'm New on. Gonna... New on. New on. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's supposed to be someone important. She's beautiful. I don't know. She's like a five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah. Whoa! That's not you, Zalanda. The hero of the war between my people and yours. Simple that our weapon would only be right to defend something important. You're a goblin? Lord, Master of Poison. Sorry for the mess. This place has been abandoned for a few millennia. You don't seem too surprised to see us. I was expecting you. The professor, maybe Mel Wong. Anytime now, I've always wanted to meet Professor Skin. Oh boy, we have a lot to catch you up on. That, that isn't important. Do you know Baldwin? Rowley is around. We think he's dying and we don't know what to do. The living goblin, Taco, and the best should be taken, and that though. It's some of the math the professor cooked up. What's this? I said math. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? 
the most powerful healing concoction I can create. It's known as a life potion. Take the answer, bro. I bring someone back from the prison. It's the only one I have. By old Baldwin, it's the only reason I got out. You are the one from Dwarven Goblin as well? Yeah. Fine, no, it's our group post. Now, one play. Come back when you more about the ingredients and money. <laughs> what? Blame. I need money. I'll give it to you at court. Now, tell. Now, be safe as bad as you say, you should go. Uh, thanks, weird gum dude. We'll be back. <laughs> I think you gave him a funny voice. Yeah, that was a good one. Why do you think we're the plant fascist children, Rhonda? <laughs> oh, that's Yarlanda. Yeah. Oh. My going very young, but they have the same fire in your eyes. <laughs> Just talking to himself. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I think my or I say goodbye one. I mean, that's the only way I can imagine him talking now, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's his voice. That's his voice. <laughs> that is his voice. He really looks like he'd be talking like that. He came, this, he came through the screen earlier before this episode. I, I don't expect you viewers to know this or even remotely believe this, but this is what happened. He came into our reality. He started speaking like that, like that. So we decided to give him that voice. Yeah, I'm really good at imitating voices. <laughs> See, I voice act Elmo sometimes. This is a very cool house, though. It is. I think it is down here. I think it's down here somewhere. Oh, there's Bald One. I think we're on the right area. Oh, yeah, here's the moon right there. Yep, moon man, right on his bald ass head. <laughs> <laughs> right on his bald ass head. <laughs> <laughs> sure does reflect like the moon. <laughs> ah, I am not 100%, but I do feel <laughs> much better. He's gonna cough the whole time, I swear. Yeah. Didn't that stuff work on humans? Some might. Speak with Lloyd <laughs> about that. Speak to your local doctor, you know. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Using the archive you were covering. I found this. Come here. The sexy pose of the professor. <laughs> the coordinates for the oh wait don't look at that photo <laughs> where they are keeping many who oppose dwarven goblin but most importantly it contains a rune of power we will need one of those to go further the research of the moon gate not to further reach the moon gate yeah 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 something like that if any gates are already up and running we can reach them if we have more power makes sense that computer is linked to the portal. When you activate a gate with the travel room, it should be added directly to the computer's database. I already entered the coordinates of the jail's gate. Use the computer to connect the portal to it. Crazy old man. Damn, crazy old man. Just because you go up higher in octave at the end of a sentence, doesn't mean you're giving it to me clearly. <laughs> you're gonna have to show me what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Can't just explain it to me, bro. <laughs> so, you want to use this crazy ancient teleportation technology to perform hit and run attacks on political enemies. I know it's a lot. Cool. Mega cool. Time to lock and load. With a sword? That doesn't make sense yet. If all goes well, we'll come back with the professor. I have also gathered some equipment for you. It is weak and cheap, but better than nothing. Let's go over there. Roger. That? My name is Baldwin, young one. <laughs> Wilco! <laughs> Your gear is stored here, but thanks to the travel room, you can access it anyway. Try equipping yourself here to get the hang of it. Hey. Oh, Alright. Okay, it seems simple enough. It really does. Seems like a simple setup. Oh, I can do this too. Oh, shit, never mind. But it's like a co-op game, but you know it doesn't give us like the co-op mechanics. 
Yeah, it's more of like a, uh, it's like it's a single player co-op game, you know? It's like you could use the same controller if you needed to. I'll give you the hat, I'll take the arm. Like... Oh yeah, okay, I got you. Alright, I think, uh, that'd be episode one. Yeah! Sweet! That's good. Yeah. I like this game a lot. Good job picking that one. Thanks. Man. That's a very good game. Yeah, it's definitely one I think we'll go all the way through. I enjoy it a lot. I do. This is a good one. Yeah. It's like single player co op in a way. Yeah, and it's got a hell of a story going for it, man. I like it. Yeah. It's, I give it a 5 out of 5 right now, man. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Oh shit, hell yeah. Yeah. Definitely have to play more soon. Yeah, most definitely.